um, you know, I love coins and, and um, I love to buy and sell them. And I've been doing this for, you know, 40 some odd years. I get to buy and sell some of the greatest coins. But, you know, I can't afford to collect great U.S. coins because, you know, great U.S. coins are in here and they started a million dollars. So it's like, I, you know, I, I love them, but I really can't. You know, I've been successful in my in my in my, in my uh, career, but not that successful. So I can't collect you know super expensive U.S. coins. Um, but I do um, run across a lot of great coins that when I buy and sell collections that that uh, that I appreciate and I really like. And a lot of that has to, is to do with uh, ancient world coins because I think ancient world coins are really um, underpriced as far as uh, in comparison to U.S. coins because you know a great U.S. coin. That could be twenty five thousand dollars because it's uh, fifty known, and you know rarity. That same coin in a in a, in a world coin or an ancient coin could be worth twenty five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And um, I buy and sell a lot of large groups of ancient coins and world coins. And what I've done over the last uh, ten or twenty years, when I get a, a a really nice collection of of something, I'll go through it and I'll pull out one or two of the best examples of it. And th this is a, an example. Recently, we had a large uh, collection of Athenian owls. And uh, I picked out one or two coins from my for my collection, and you can maybe do a picture of this later. But it's a coin with a really great portrait on it, and um, it's got great luster. And it was something that you know that I didn't I wouldn't have the opportunity if I hadn't had a chance to handle that large collection or, or hoard. So I try to pick coins that I know that are special because you know I've been doing this long enough, and I see something that's like that really is special and you know like. Um, this is another example. It's a 1751. I get a Scudo from Chile in mint condition. This is a coin I bought in a collection of U.S. coins, and the guy had this, and I said, well, this is, you know, if I went to sell it, it's probably worth $3,000, but to me, if that was a U.S. coin, it'd be worth $30,000. So I'm like, well, you know, maybe someday that, you know, as, well, it's, I started this a while back, and it's already happened. Coins around the world have become more popular, and more people are doing those, and it's, you know, my strategy has, has, been, has been good because more people are interested in those kind of things. You know, you know they like, uh, you know, as different economies around the world uh, get uh, strong, it's like uh, 20 years ago, if you'd have bought Chinese coins, you know, they were almost free compared to what they are now. I mean, their coins that are worth $500 are worth $25,000 now. So as, as economies grow around the world, that can, that can be really good. And I really like ancient coins because it's not really country specific. That's a global market. So it could be, you know, people doesn't, you know, doesn't matter where if you're from, you know, Spain or if you're from the Netherlands, wherever people are all ancient coins have an appeal to everybody. And that's, that's why I like those. And I love also for the art. And ancient coins are interesting. They don't just sell for rarity and condition. They also sell, they're like pieces of art themselves. It's like the style of the coin, uh, they, you know, how well they're centered. So they, they, they almost trade like fine art. And these coins are, you know, these are done by an artist. You know, this coin here is 440 BC. So 2,500, 2,600 years ago, you know, someone had this coin and was, you know, hand engraving it and it was hand stamped. So it really is a miniature piece of art. So I really, I, I really, I'm drawn to that. I, I, I like that a lot. And um, I, I think that the, you know, when, when people are looking about it later, it's like there is such a diversity and you can have things from uh, different parts of world history. And a lot of these coins have trail great stories. Like the, this coin is like the, the height of the uh, Athenian empire. And it's, that to me, is a really great story. And I, I love that. Mm -hmm.